Hello, and welcome to a special draft. This is going to be Modern Horizons 3. Best of 3. RCQ practice. I have an RCQ coming this weekend, and we're practicing for it. Uh, I'm practicing for it anyway. So, hopefully you enjoy watching me do a best of 3 draft. I know it's not a usual ranked draft, but I do want to practice sideboarding in this format. I think that's going to be important. Um, I'd like to take this moment here to also thank everyone for your support. And uh, if you're not already supporting and you like what I do, please consider doing all the free things to support. Uh, details at the end of the video. But also, um, I'd love to see people watching till the end of my YouTube videos and love to see people uh, giving feedback because I know I'm not doing a perfect job and I want to do better. And, uh, so stay tuned for that secret hashtag, um, somewhere in this video. And if you use a secret hashtag with some feedback in the comments when this video is on YouTube, you'll be entered to win a booster box. Let's get started. Hopefully. All right, here's pack one, pick one. Let's, oh yeah, supposed to be, you can't see your opponents. Which they did for the arena open, but then, okay. This is an interesting pack. There's a Volt Storm Angel, good energy card. Slith, good for energy, or um, modified. I think the best cards here are like, breathe your last. And Emperor Bones. There is a pretty interesting MBFC, but this is like an aggro MBFC. I don't want to take it this early. I think Emperor Bones is really sweet. So I'm going to take it over Breather Last. Breather Last is like. I think it's a pretty removal spell because there's big stuff that a lot of the other removal does kill. Like anything with five toughness, you need something like this to deal with. And there's a lot of that stuff. If in this format, especially for the old Drowsy deck. Okay. Hmm. Okay, interesting pack we've got here. Sludge Strand. I'm not going to rare draft that. Uh, and there's so many good cards in this pack. MDFCs. This one's fine. This one's not great. Um, not one of the premium ones. It's It can enter untapped but it is not a huge effect. I like Emrakul's Messenger. I think Sundering Option is really important for aggro and mid-range decks. Like decks that can't go over the top of Eldrazi, this kills them. There's barely any Eldrazi to flying, but tons of them have reach. Um, there's those Ghost Fire Slice, which I like. I'm not gonna take Gargantua this early. And then there's two lands. I honestly think the most important card here is Sudden Eruption. If we end up in an aggro deck, we're going to really wish we had this. It's not likely we end up in red, black with a star like this, but it's possible. Oh wow, another Sudden Eruption? Hmm. All right. A lot of good cards in this pack. There's a Galvanic Discharge, another Sudden Eruption, Nightshade Dryad. Even Breaker of Creation is quite good. And then there's a really good MDFC and Drowner of Truth for the Eldrazi deck. Like two good Eldrazi deck cards. This is kind of an Eldrazi deck card, too. Could take another Sundering Eruption. I think the second one is a lot worse, so I think I'm not going to take the Galvanic Discharge. And, like, whether or not we end up in energy, this card's going to be good. Obviously, it's better if you have other energy running around, lying around. Um, but it's kind of just Lightning Bolt, even with no other energy, so... We're going to take that. Okay. So speaking of energy, there's a superconductor here, which I might be interested in. Not really any black cards I'm interested in. Like, you can get these. They're pretty good, but you can get them. I think this is between... I mean, I don't... The land, superconductor, and the commander. The hydra's pretty good, but... Not for anything that we're doing right now. Uh, I think I'll just take the Spawn Gang Commander. This card's really good. 
it's like Siege Gen Commander, but there are Eltrazi spawns. So even you can't sacrifice the goblins to sacrifice the third goblin, this one. Um, and they can, like, this can sacrifice any Eldrazi, which is great. All right. Ooh, Waterscape Battle Mage. That's a good one. Another eruption. Wow. And then here's a green black land. I really like Waterscape Battle Mage. Could take that here. I'm not really seeing much indication that black is open. I see blue cards and red cards, and then Eldrazi cards. So the question is. Since I have the spawn gang finder, I think I'd rather lean towards Eldrazi stuff. And I think pick five battle mage is a pretty big signal, even though it doesn't really do much with these colors. Oh, wow. Another commander and another monk. Okay. And a drowner. Okay. So red and Eldrazi is open. I'll take the spawn game commander. The monk is pretty good with our discharge, but I think commander is going to be better. Hopefully we get past the insane. Well, we don't have to be blue to play this, by the way. The green mode is quite good by itself. All right, hopefully we get past the mythic <laughs> red green commons. Ooh, Ripper Cruiser. All right, I think we're in now. Beast of Titania is kind of interesting. Monstrous Vortex is interesting, but I think I'll probably ultimately not worth it. Uh, there's some medium black cards here, but... Meddler? Oh, okay, there's a Meddler here? Wow, okay. That is an indication that black could be open, but... I think we can just go and do... Eldrazi things. And this is like the perfect land for Eldrazi. Makes all your colors, including colorless. You just have to pick the right one. All right. Sneak Snacker is interesting. Definitely interesting pack here. Oh, Amulet here is here still, huh? Uh, not really any Eldrazi cards here. I don't even have any counter things going on. Um... Splash Emperor? I don't think so. I think yeah, that's fine. It's a fine card. Okay. Messenger came back. But there's also a Rush of Inspiration. Esper Land I'm not really interested in. I mean, I guess there's a chance I could still be Red Blue. But like Red Blue Eldrazi? Oh, there's like the Rush. Oh, there we go. That is a super late Dragon of Truth. That's awesome for us. Pushing Dragon, not really playable. Brain Surge, I think I like a decent amount. Hmm. Are we getting this because energy's open or because red is open? Hard to tell. Probably because energy's open, because that's a gargoyle. Oh, that's Berland. Probably not playing that one. All right, wow. We could have a third spawn gang commander. They do kind of get better in multiples. Are we supposed to take that? The next best card for us is like, Dread Mask. I mean, I guess so. Still not convinced that I wanna be red blue, but we could pivot if the right cards come along. All right, give me all the spawn gang commanders, please. Ooh, interesting. So now there's an annoyed altar, so which is great. A great energy card and amped raptor. But I think, I think I just want horrific assault. Hmm. It does kind of feel like we're fighting for a red green. Because we're not seeing the mythic common or uncommon. I think that's probably fine. Can't splash the spawn game commanders anyway. There's a void craw, but 
think I want to lock up the cheap removal here. Mm, okay. Well, that's a pretty good energy card. Uh, the best card for like Eldrazi is Void Pouncer or Sage. Should I take the Cartographer? Yeah. This is low downside. Void Pouncer probably comes back. All right. If energy ends up being open, we'll be happy that we did that. Super Connector, another Cartographer. But there's also a Devourer of Destiny, which card I like a lot. I think I'd rather ramp into Devourer. These lands are not very interesting though. Um. Yeah, green's, well, see the problem here is green doesn't actually feel that open. Oh wow, another discharge? Generatorium? Shoot, is it too late to pivot? Probably not. The energy cards are probably gonna come back. Maybe I was too... Huh. Well, Warden Power Stone could be good if we're just ramping. I don't really care about these blue cards that much. Although this is a blue-green colorless land. I'm gonna want that probably more than a Warden Power Stone if I end up Eldrazi. Ooh, Party Thrasher. Oh, unsealing though. Hmm. <laughs> Do you have two good seven drops already? God damn it. All right, I'm committing, I think. We're committing to Eldrazi stuff. Oh, interesting, we're on the implicit maze. Malevolent Rumble. What toxic deluge? What are you doing here, pick eight? That's crazy. We're gonna find a way to splash that. This card is nuts. Should never pass it, I think. Alright, well we're we're finding a way to splash black. I suppose. Uh, take a rare. Maybe that's unplayable. I mean, this is best of three, so this could be playable, maybe. Probably not, though. Well, this has flash. You could tutor for it with the Mystical Teachings land. That's pretty funny. Okay. God damn it. This is the awkward spot. When red is open... You end up with all these energy cards, and you end up... with all drowsy cards, and you need to figure out what what's going to come more. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven premium energy cards. And it's the sky claw. You're just not seeing green. Alright. Fuck. Uh okay. So I could still play this land if I'm to splash the deluge. Oh yeah. Alright. It's all coming together now. And by all coming together I mean energy is coming together. Ooh, I just remember. And nothing else. I guess I take this member here. It's not as good as it is in cube, but it's quite good. There's a battle mage here, but that's not really for us. We're just doing energy stuff now, and hopefully we didn't get into it too late. I'm going to probably still play the commanders, though. 
A good card is still good. Hey, we're, st we're splashing black for this deluge, so this dismember will still be quite good. Uh, I don't want to splash white for that, but that's the only energy card here. Hmm, interesting. There's a Storm Drake. Let's see. So this can get white and blue. And this can get white and blue. And this can get blue and red. Am I just taking this gargoyle? No, the gargoyle's wheel. I guess I'll take the Storm Drake, try it out. Ooh, another discharge. Ooh, and an amulet. Another amulet or discharge. Even waterlog teachings is pretty great. Land is pretty great too. Oh, the emissary. Uh, I'll let the emissary wheel, I think. How many discharges is too many? Well, I have these cartographers, so maybe I don't want that many amulets. I'll just take another discharge, I guess. Ooh, yes, reiterating bolt. Now that's something to spend energy on. Hell yeah, replicate three energy. Let's go. All right, well, do I want to wheel those white blue energy cards? I have some white blue fixing. Oh, a psychic frog. Oh, Grixis land. Oh, but there's a two in the narrative. I can wheel the two in the narrative, right? <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, probably not. Probably get a basic land or a dragon. Aether spike or Jeskai land or teachings. I mean, teachings is a blue black land that can get whatever our best instant is or card with flash. You're a sorcery. You're a sorcery. I have all these premium instants that kill for cheap though. I should probably take it. Mm, Iron works. Curse mirror is not playable. Double sneaky snacker. <laughs> yeah, I think this is an iron works. We're not really the most aggressive energy deck, but this gives us something to spend energy on for three threes. Maybe one of those other one of those spikes will wheel. Okay, emissary. Yeah, I think I'm just not going to splash the white. Although, I'm just kidding. Yep. I mean, I knew I was going to wheel all the blue energy cards. Question is, do we play Jess Guy? We got the teachings. Well, we got the Deluge splash locked. Oh my goodness. She's getting everything. Oh no. Um I already have one emissary. Alright, I'll take the amulet this time. Damn, another. Hmm. Awkward deck is awkward. Just think how good our deck could have been if we committed to energy earlier. I guess I should have realized that every energy card was wheeling. Shrieking Drake. What can I do with the Shrieking Drake? Probably not playing this round in truth. All right. Just play one swamp. 
Can't, don't think I can play that. I don't think I want to play it or insignificance either. Iron Rubble's pretty good. I have Dismember, Reiterating Bolt, the Reaches Discharges, Toxic Deluge. Man, do I even play these spawn gang commanders? I have no other Eldrazi. I think. Wait, how many lands is this? This is 17. Oh. Back over there. This is 17 lands plus... Three MDFCs. Okay, we got some cuts. We got definitely caught one spawn gang commander. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can just count. 17. This is 20 lands. So I cut. I keep just one swamp. And that gives me. Four black sources. Okay. Let me cut another one of these. And then a one land. Seems pretty good to me. Sky Claw is a little awkward, but it does give energy. All right, my first energy deck. This looks exciting. Okay. Uh, let's check sources. So four black. One, two, three, four. Okay, all my fetch lands get blue. Plus I have these two. So that's... That's six, seven with one island. Probably cut an island. Uh, and then I have some double red cards. And I have six... Seven, eight, nine, ten red sources. Hmm. Three, four, nine blue sources. All right, so my mana is kind of awkward. I've got double red cards. I don't really know if I can avoid playing double red cards. Try to play Drown here. I don't think so. I think I like my curve pretty low. Um, Cause I have lots of card draw. Okay, I got two cartographers, looting, two amulets, janitorium, brush. So in that case, six. Six, nine, yeah, that's 10. And then blue. So I'm just playing three white cards. But they're pretty good. This is all my blue. Nine. So nine blue, ten red. And then white is one, two, three. 
four. Bones only four. Four is not that much. Mm -hmm. I think I cut a red out of white. And then it's 19 total lands, but 16 actual lands and 3 MDSCs. I like that. Let's not think too much about it, and let's just jam. them. Let's kick some people's butts. With all our energy guards, baby. Okay. So I just use this to get a blue, I have everything. Hell yeah. You can even get black with this other landscape. Mm, I can't get double red though. Unless I get blue with this. I don't have any black cards in my hand and I want to curve out, so... Okay. So turn two gargoyle, turn three one of these two, and then skyclaw four probably. It looks pretty good. Okay, don't mind that. Is our island? Oh, an amulet. Neat. Okay, go ahead. I probably just want to play Ironworks here. Start generating energy. I don't really need Exalted when I'm beating them down. Really bad. Okay. Exalted won't do anything for me when I'm kicking their ass with multiple creatures. No, I don't want life link. I do want a golem. So they can make a spawn here, and that's fine. So maybe I play Emissary, crack this for red if I don't draw a red source. Depends what they play here. Oh. That is big. Oh, hello. Okay, so now... We do play the landscape. I think I just want to kill that. So, Emissary char Discharge, except don't fuck me over, game. I'm not going to go for Exalted right now, because I am just hammering them. And then I have enough left over for another Golem. No. Oh, plus one, because... Right. Ironworks has two abilities. Duh. My first time playing with these cards. These energy cards. They are there. This curve is really impressing me right now. And probably my opponent, too, because they're getting savaged here. 
Pretty good turn for a bird board state, if I do say so myself. Yeah, they just scooped. On the play, maybe I bring this in. Other insignificance. I mean, this commander's just not really doing anything for me, is it? I mean, it's kind of, I guess it's reach in this matchup. I'm, they showed me a little drowsy. Oh, okay. Yeah, this sounds great. I have to get blue man again with this. It's fine. Oh, wait. This is Grixis. This could get white, but I don't care about white. I already have my one white. Okay. Okay. Oh. Breaker. They didn't take the breaker. Blue. Oh, I just drew the red. Oh, well, that's perfect then. Probably gonna want to discharge that dryad. Six energy for three cards. Oh, what the fuck is this victimize? Oh no. Oh, that's the. That's incredible. Best rumbler ever. Okay, so how do I beat this? Uh, it has hexproof from each color. I can't even steal it with the Storm Drake. I have to get Toxic Deluge. Oh God. Yeah. Is that really my only out? I guess I could try and block it. My hand is not set up for that. Like, at all. Hmm. I just need to do this now, I think. This is Annihilator 2, though. Oh, Jesus. So I have to Annihilate Mountain and my Cartographer, and then hope to peel Toxic Deluge? This is ridiculous. What a lucky Malevolent Rumble into Victimize. Just insanity. Oh, well, I guess I don't have probably no outs. Yeah. Right. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool saying opponent. Uh, a battle mage could bounce that. But I'm not going to have enough colorless for that. Well, that was just disgusting. I'm going to have to bring in the axe when I'm on the play. I don't know. That was horrifying. 
What an incredible victimize. Just get a hexproof. Annihilate your creature. I hate it so much. Okay, this is a good hand. It's got all our colors, too. It doesn't have double red, but who cares about that? I also won't be able to cast a gargoyle turn two, but I have amulet into superconductor anyway. And I have to get red here. Okay. All right, don't you dare victimize me like that again. Oh God. <laughs> okay, I don't think. All right, they're not doing it this time. I only have one creature, thank goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna use the amulet here. Who knows what I'll hit. Landscape. Okay, I've got a dismember. That's pretty cool art on this dismember. Let's use the amulet here. Waterlogged teachings. Probably want to play that. some point like it probably gets me I mean who am I kidding it probably gets me Dalvanic Discharge hurts so good in my deck This card. Thank God I can. No, I can't dismember it. <laughs> I can discharge it though. Photographer. Interesting. Yeah, I guess that's what we're doing. Like, I can't. I mean, I guess I just attack. I don't want them to even be able to block this. I can dismember and then they have to sacrifice all three spawns. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Let's just go teachings. I mean, alternatively, I can just spend three energy to have one of these trade for it. No. Five, six. Okay. 
Now they're at nine. It's pretty good. Still have this dismember and a rush. And I can play all three next turn. This card is so ridiculously good. Oh, I don't care about that at all. Storm Drake. All right, let's do this right. Photographer. Mm hmm No removal spell here. Oh, it's Pyretic Rebirth. Wow, I hate that. Okay. I'm probably going to trade a Drake for that Chrysalis. I don't even have any energy for you to slith, punk. Uh huh. Yeah. Don't care. You know, I think I might want to dismember this, and if they sacrifice a bunch of spawn, then I steal it with the Drake. I think that's the plan. Oh wait, that's not how this card works. Okay, got it. Okay, break.
All right. Now we have a 6-7 reach. Pretty cool. Swing. Sure. That's fine. Reiterating bolts. That's kind of interesting. So I want to attack with my superconductor. I guess I do. It just gets blocked by Uzwag though. All right. Let's just attack with the chrysalis then. So if they don't block, they die. They just don't know it yet. I'm I'm okay with this trade. But they're probably gonna adapt and be sad. I guess I could have just paid two energy to kill the Drake. I still win that combat, but I have more energy left over. Uh, okay, go. Yeah, that was a mistake. I could have saved two energy that way. Okay. When it has two cards left. We've actually drawn a lot of lands. Spent a lot of energy. Should I have three energy here, which would be enough to trigger this? Yeah, that's a pretty big mistake, actually. I think we're still going to be okay, though. Ugh, not this again. Oh, thank God. Thank God it's all tapped. Mm. Yeah. Well, let's see what they have, I guess. Generatorium. Purple gate zero. All right, we got them. All right, we had a spooky game there where we basically died on turn four, turn three even. Put that victimize, like holy cow! But uh, they didn't get that lucky in game three, and we were able to beat them. So that's nice.
All right. I'm really happy with this deck. Even though I definitely made a mistake and lost more energy than I should have. Blue, white, and a red. Yeah, that sounds great. All right, this is, I'm gonna play this, play this, and then play the landscape, which will be great with the cartographer. Two removal spells and ironworks. Life is good. Mm hmm. Hmm. Opponent leads on these two cards. Do I want to play Harvester? Or save the Cartographer? I guess I'll play the Harvester. It's pretty likely they have removal here. Like Wither and Bloom. And I think it's more likely that this can attack next turn than this. I want to at least be able to get all the energy out of the fetch land. Okay. All right, I don't have black mana. And I only have a single red. Kind of an issue. Uh. I guess we do this. Then they have to do something to my harvester. If they don't, then I get a golem. Yeah. There's the wither and bloom. I don't think I want to loot with my energy here. Maybe I can loot the Skyclaw, but I don't really care about that much. Ooh, emissary. Could play Emissary and discharge that. Or... Play Cartographer and discharge it. Oh. No, I can't. All right, well, in that case, we'll go emissary. That's fine. I can still get the energy off of this. And discharge with this. I could have done it the other way if I just left this in my hand. Played the island earlier. It was a little awkward that my only blue source was also my only red source. That's fine. I think this is actually better for me. Okay, Besotted Knight. Ooh, they hit! They hit a worm coil larva. Ew. This costs two to get an exalted counter. Okay. Ready to attack. Alright. Got me. Two, three. Do I want the exalted counter though? Probably. Storm Coil Larva is going to be an issue, though. Don't think I have any great answers to it. I could steal it, I guess. Maybe. Alright, well. Let's... Let's just go Cartographer. Oh, wait. Do I have a card with Flash that deals with it? Or an instant? No. 
No, I don't. Okay. Well. We're just going to play this for the energy then. And then. Crack this for energy too. That gives me four. I guess I should have looted this away. Uh, I don't care about this rose cotton knight. What? Oh, shit. All right, well, now I have to care. I thought this was an attack trigger. It is not. Okay. I mean, I guess I don't mind just trading golems for that. Oh. Oh, that's a problem. Shoot. I mean, I can trade a golem plus a discharge for that. Yeah. I guess that's fine. Not that I don't want it. That's fine by me. Pass. Next turn I can kill it with a discharge. If I draw land or if I just attack with the ironworks. Alright, they have some big beefy beaters. I think this utter insignificance is coming in. Are you going to attack me for six? They are. Okay. I would say that's brave, but, but they have worm coil lava, so larva, so that's not really brave. Alright. Would I be better off if I just had the exalted counter? Absolutely. Do they want a counter on Chilgengar? No. They make a serve. Okay. That's fine. I guess the Exalted Counter wouldn't have helped me when I wanted to attack last turn. Ooh. Okay. That's nice. I don't know why they're not playing the Larva, though. Uh-huh. Sure. Take three. I'm gonna sack the servo for blood. Wait, they're not? They're not sacrificing the servo for blood? Excuse me, the fuck? Oh, they're killing my cartographer. Okay. That's fine. I mean, I wanted to draw three guards. Drawing three guards would have been pretty cool. Guess I'll just make a golem instead. Maybe I should, I don't know. There's no reason to save it to put counters on this stupid thing. Plus, if that's all I'm going to attack with, I'm better off getting an Exalted Counter. But I don't think that's all I'm going to attack with. The Larva is still a problem, though. So, I'll definitely bring Utter Insignificance. Hmm. 
This land can get green. Oh no, I won't have enough colors for the battle mage, so we're not gonna bring that in. We're just gonna bring in insignificance, I guess. And spawn gain commander could trade for a larva. I have one in my deck. Or it kind of trades for one. It's very weird how they okay, there's the larva. It's here. Okay. A counter on it. Are they gonna attack me for six? I was gonna like that would be hella ill advised. Um, I think I just wanna. Kill the giant demon. I mean, I can kill this. And then, like, attack with everything. But then they have more tokens. I think it's better to kill the demon. Bye, demon. I gotta pay six. Five demon. Okay. Well, that exalted counter on that. Attack with my dragon. I'm not gonna put the counter on it. Like, I could... It doesn't even change the clock. I could pay three for this, or I can... make another golem. I guess I'll pass. Not making golem plays around a board wipe here. Ew. Okay, well, it doesn't play around that very well. So they can gain four by blocking. <laughs> if I just attack with everything, they have two blockers. So one, two... And I would have lethal had I made a, a golem. Uh, okay. I think it's still worth it though. Okay, so they're, this is, wait, this is lethal if they block like this. Okay, that's, now this is fine. Now it's like I'm trading a golem for an inventor. Oh, don't block like that. That will definitely kill you. Okay. I figured it out. Uh, I'm just going to pass. Ooh, Vigilance on the Larva is kind of nasty. Wow, they literally cycled. You don't see that every day. Yeah, Vigilance on the Larva is kind of gross. Okay. Oh, man. All right, I think I need gas now. If 
Fuck, that's not gas. Oh man. Target creature you control gains double strike until end of turn. Oh, that's even worse. I guess that's like still only gain four if I block. Okay. Um, let's put an exalted counter here. God, they have more interaction? Oh, okay. I mean, they might, but they didn't use it before Exalted happened. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to Raven Charm that? Sure, whatever. Uh, okay, I think I use this now. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't want to look at the sideboard anymore. So, Sundering Eruption could get me out of this pickle. Oh, jeez. Okay. Sure. Oh god, they have so much lifelink. Holy Jesus. This is gonna go to a 4-4 four four now. Oh my god. All I can draw is lands! No! Oh. This sucks so much. I don't think I can attack anywhere. Help, my opponent has a million lifelink. I'm getting owned by this worm coil larva. I think I have to just double block this. I can't let them have a Vigilance creature like this. I'll lose an Exalted counter though. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Please no punish. Okay. Yeah. They still have six power. Oh. Oh. Isn't that interesting? Okay. One spawn gang commander. That could fuck with lifelink. All right, I have another card token, right? Yeah, I do. Uh, okay. God, they're at 16. I had them so low for so long. I think this, did this game all come down to me not? Like me having to bolt the stupid rose cotton knight that was never gonna do anything. Okay. Sacrifice and I'll draw the okay. Uh 
Let's put an Eldrazi here, and one here, and this guy here. And then I sacrifice two Eldrazi to throw the... Oh, wait, what? That doesn't... Does that work? Yes, it does. Like that. Okay, now what? Okay, all right, draw something besides the land, thank you. Uh, I can make an iron, I can make a token. That makes this superconductor less uh, good. Probably should do it though. Okay, go. Finally drew something that wasn't a land. Uh, matchless, okay. That doesn't do anything to me right now. I need This member is kind of interesting. Uh, okay. Give me some energy, please. That probably just gets blocked by the death touch token. Oh, okay. I'm even happier about this trade. I'm not even going to dismember. Why should I? <laughs> oh. Okay, that's bad for me. They're drawing cards now. Drosclaw, okay, I don't care about that. Don't think. Okay, I still have the insights. Jesus. Okay. God, this game is so grindy. And it probably didn't need to be this grindy. That's the death touch token. Uh... Yeah, okay. You know what they probably do? Probably sacrifice the germ here. The insight, yep. Mm -hmm. They have 13 cards in their deck. I have 17. I still have a lot of good draws. 
Rearing bolt, not the best one. Photographer is nice. Oh. Fucking dicks. Yeah. Great. <laughs> I think I'm probably not going to win this one. It does kind of seem like, unless I get my engine rolling, they have a better late game. It's missing that stupid engine. Alright, we need to we're conceding now. All right, utter insignificance, you're coming in. Probably want another commander too. Doesn't really have any flying except for the auxiliary and the demon. So, actually, I'm just going to cut. This is a grindy matchup. I'm going to cut an island for this guy. No, well, black cards aren't actually helping me that much either. I could take out a swamp, put it in a forest. Put this in. I might be going like way too deep here. I don't hate it though. Um, I guess I do want a flyer. Hmm. Let's look out here. One spawn gang, I guess. <laughs> Holy fucking lifelink, Batman. Alright, that was a lot of lifelink. Okay. So this is a green source, this is a white source. I guess I just play this green source. Bomb and game. Harvester. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be a wild source. Okay. If they spend the energy, maybe I just discharge. I didn't spend it. Alright, I block. Uh, I don't really think I want to loot, so that's fine. Oh, another one, huh? Okay, we got the white. Oh, I don't have colorless anymore. No, I mean, I can get it with this spawn gang. 
if I want it. Mm, do I want to make this exchange? No. But if I do want to make this exchange, I think I kill that. Let's play the Drake on an empty board. Okay. I'm ready for Worm Coil Lava this game. I definitely feel like I'm the beatdown right now. Because I don't have any engines going. Double Slith, though. Don't think I saw any Slits in game one. Oh, nice witch enchanter. Nice four mana two two. I can't ever blank that because I have two amulets, iron works. Two gargoyles. Utter insignificance. And the generatorium. Yeah, never never gonna blink that witch enchanter. Okay. That seems like a good attack. There it is. We're ready for you this time, fuckaroo. Boop. Boop. I'll take him with spawn. We're sending a message this game. Cool. Cool hand, bro. Three bin charm. Uh, that's not gonna work out for you, buddy. I got it. We'll take zero. Thank you. All right, blue. All right, they gave up. We did it. The green splash worked, chat. You're geniuses. Uh, obviously, you run it back. And they should have brought it. Oh, another spawn gang commander. They're pretty good against them. Luckily for us, they had the witch, en witch enchanter and we had literally nothing that cared about that. Keep. All right, well, the forest is kind of stinking up my hand here, but I guess I have to choose. Well, I don't have to choose whether I get white or blue right now. I could just play it and then play turn two amulet. I don't get the chance to play turn two harvester if I don't, though. It's fine. I think I do want turn two harvester, though. Well, actually, 
I have lots of blue sources. I want colorless for this and for the thing I warded in. Okay. I guess I'll just play it then. Oh, well, now we're getting kind of punished. It's okay, though. Amulet. Okay, I'm gonna go get Swamp. Well, I guess I could get Red. Because they are splashing a Red Guard. Okay. I'm not gonna use the amulet right now. Oh, okay. There we go. That's our colorless source. Sure. Now we'll use it. Mm. That's white and blue. Great. Not awkward at all. We don't need color source right now, and we have the commander. I guess I'm just cracking both of those right now. I'm not gonna expose the ironwork to wish witch enchanter here at the right this moment. Drawsclaw. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so this one this one gets an island. And this one gets a plains. Hoping to draw. Hmm, that is blue. Huh. Guess I just want to play this. I think I'll just use it or play it. And then use the amulet. Amulet gets me a red. Okay. Uh, I guess I play that. Okay, so I can harvester ironworks next turn, which will be pretty good. Or I can spawn gang. What the fuck is this attack? What tricks have they shown me? They haven't shown me any tricks. But I won't block this time. You got me. Because I want to play... I want to get... Mana from Ironworks. Okay, they're just attacking because I had insight. So I took one damage, one extra damage there for no fucking reason. Oh, hello, Battle Mage. How are you today? Harvester? It works. Go combat. Decline. I 
Okay. Then I make a golem, and I pass. Worm coil is coming soon. If it does, I'll be ready. I mean, I guess I could just I could just honor it insignificant it, but obviously I'd rather exile it. Okay, so they might have Witch Enchanter here, and they're deciding what's more important to kill: the Ironworks or the Golem. The Amulet's already done its work. They could have a Johnny Fills the Guard God's there also. I don't care that much about it, though. Oh no, my golem! Oh, I'll just play this guy. Uh, okay. I can insecure against that. I could just bounce it, though. Actually, I know what I do. We... I think I just teachings for dismemberer. Oh, I took out the dismemberer. I'll just get a discharge then. Okay. Do you have a board wipe you haven't shown me in any games yet? Oh, you do. It's a toxic deluge. Good, good for you, opponent. Right, time for a spawn gang, commander. This almost kills the opponent on its own. If I had non-spawn colorless sources, I could kill them much, much faster. You like... They're holding on to Draven Charm, I think. Hey, there it is. God, I'm such a genius. I could just utter insignificance it, though. Nah. Yeah. Superconductor. Okay, let's... Oh, I only have one blue. But I don't need the blue for this. Okay, let's just start with Superconductor then. Maybe I'll hit... I'll land off of this amulet. I hit a second amulet. That's funny. Let's go for... Yeah, let's just play the second amulet, I guess. This deals one to them. They're not playing blue, so they can't counter spell me.
Fuck you, Worm Coil. Do they have their other insight? I do have two. I mean, if they do, they're still basically dead. Perfect. Uh, okay. What the fuck does that do? Well, I had a land I want to play it. Uh, not that land, though. That's a more double face land. <laughs> This is going to deal two damage to them with both amulets. And then they just die to spawn gang commander. Not to mention attacks. GG's. Water's good, battle birds. That worm coil was our, like, the only real problem that we had in game one. And, uh, we boarded, we went a little deep. But, uh, we find a, found a way to do it. <laughs> Although, I think in, was it game one or game two? I think it was game one we lost. Yeah, I think it was game one. Uh... I think if I just made an extra golem, I would have won that game. Like, mm. what a beautiful hand. I'll keep this. So this is always going to enter tapped. I'm just going to play this on turn one. And then I think about what kind of matchup this is. Oh, gargoyle. All right, gargoyle makes me, or the ironworks makes me want to just run out the gargoyle. Then. The generatorium can wait, I guess. Slith. Okay. Iron works. No, definitely don't want to pay for a lifelink, but I will make a golem. Hmm. Man, this is awkward. Like, when am I going to play this generatorium? I can double spell it here, maybe? Oh, sure. I don't really care about that. Wow. They're just trying to kill all my stuff. Uh, three, two, a. Play this, make an energy. It being a 3 2 is kind of a problem. Do you need to go get a red with this landscape? So, okay, we're just gonna go harvester then. We're gonna miss out on some landfall value. Uh, what happened to the energy? They spend it just because. 
All right, so we missed the land drop here. Kind of sad. I hope I find a land next turn. Because I do want to get this generator I'm rolling. Wow. Okay. You, you have winged it. Mm hmm. They're missing a land. They are missing a land up to you, too. Red. This member. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. I mean. Yeah, I think saving the redirecting bolt for later is a good play. So let's just play the generatorium here. Attack for five. And then just dismember this. Well, there's nothing that can save it. I am at nine, but we're both stuck on three lands, and I am way ahead. Oh, he's wag. Interesting. Hello, Uzwag. All right. Um. Yeah, we're gonna start drawing cards. I think. Let's start by. Activating the harvester. Don't think this is gonna be a deluge game. And then we'll play the superconductor also. And then we'll spend here, make a golem, draw a card. Perfect. So perfect. <laughs> okay, they have wing it. I mean, I do have three of those. Opponent doesn't know that. But I do. Uh, I think my deck is kind of perfect against their deck. Wing it is always going to be like an issue, though. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this is a two lander. Has no black mana. But they mulliganed. Yeah, I'll keep this. This is good against Slith, too. Oh, they went to five. Holy shit. All right. So we'll go get a blue. Whoa. Oh, they are. They're bent, huh? Okay. Uh, cartographer. Go. Hey, we found black mana. Perfect. Uh, okay. Bro, 
probably just going to use this to draw cards instead of making golems. And ooze wag. Ooze swag. Uh, okay. Uh, I just kill that with the dismember, I think. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, we're definitely just going to break that. Alright, so I can draw three here. And I guess I'm going to... Is there any reason... Yeah, I guess there's no reason to let them untap with that. I can always draw three next turn if I want. And maybe I should be putting more pressure on them. Genku. Damn. Uh. Guess I should murder the crap out of that. How much energy do I have to spend? I have been six for this. Five to kill Genku. Okay, so let's just do this then. Draw three cards. Play. Second cartographer. Land. I'm going to play around the plus one plus one thing. That's like the only thing I can lose to right now. The fangs or whatever they're called. Rose God Knight. Sure. Wow, oh, Charitable Levy? That is not a playable card, opponent. What are you doing? Look. Energies. Hmm. Uh, this gives... Let's... Shall I draw cards? How could I resist? Uh, okay, this is going to be good next turn. If I attack, it gives me one energy. It's not enough. All right. Uh, I'm just going to pass that. It's actually kind of annoying. Yeah, I'll take it. I've dropped six extra cards with these mofos. All right, let's... We start with... I'm not casting Toxic Deluge this turn, so... Let's start with the Generatorium. Then we play an island. And now each one of these triggers gets me two. 
Yep. And then... Hmm. I could rearing bolt. And just go bolt, bolt. Attack for... Yeah, it's like not enough. Hmm. I want more value! More! Decline. Foul strike, eh? Um. Okay. Hmm, I don't know if I've cast played enough things yet this game. Well. Did I land already? I did. Alright, let's just play a dragon. Airplanes. Oh, do I still have vegetables? I have an island in a plains that this can get. Oh, Altasaur. Okay, okay. I see you. It's not gonna fucking matter, though. It'd be so funny if they hit a non creature and then they just couldn't cast it. Uh, four or five. So how much energy can I get next turn? Three, seven. Yeah, okay, whatever. This radiant bolt is just gonna kill everything. I have eight cards left in my library. All right. Um. All right, let's go. All the energy, baby. Crack it. Make four more energies. Doodly 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 do. And then. Not casting a black spell, so let's go harvester here. I have 12 energies, so I need bolt, 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 bolt. I need five, so that is, this is enough energy for five. And then I still have enough to kill them, right? Oh, well, not if you auto-tap like that, you motherfucker. Uh, this is going to go away, right? Three or more collection encounters on it. Sacrifice it if you do draw a card. Okay. You get your card and your planes. Congratulations. This card's unplayable. Okay. And then... One, two, three, four, five. Replicate four times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
Boom, 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 boom. All right, I believe this is a trophy too. GG! All right, we... Generatorium. But the Royal Shapers? So primo. We drew like 10 extra cards that game. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. Perfect trophy. We love to see it. All right, this is our best of three trophy deck. Splashing black for Toxic Daily. I don't think we ever cast. Um, and that's fine. Uh, yeah, the deck was awesome. I'm glad that we figured out when ener that energy was open when we did. Um, I'm glad the white splash worked out. Uh, we just have uh, tons of just tons of energy stuff. Um, like all the energy cards are wheeling except for discharges, but we still got three of them. Turnatorium was great. Especially with the cartographers and the fetch lands. I, I love this deck. This deck was so much fun. Uh, just paying six energy and ancestral recalling. Mm, so primo. Even the Storm Drake was good. Like it's it's pretty good in an energy deck. Although I think the only the only time we ever stole anything was like a six it was a six seven chrysalis. But that was awesome for us. Um we never cast the Sundering Eruption, although there were games that would have won us the game for sure. Um, yeah. Even this guy did work. Never activated the lifelink. It's just a bad use of energy unless you're racing. So, never activated this. Also, poor use of energy. This is kind of a filler card in our deck. And so is this. But it did some work. Uh, overall... Really happy with this draft. Love that I got a 3-0 and another trophy. Thank you all for watching, but stay tuned. It's time for the secret hashtag. The secret hashtag for this video is Menergy. Hashtag Menergy. Some of you will get that reference. Now, those of you will think I'm a misogynist, but I swear it's from an old internet cartoon because I'm old. Uh, one of the original memes. So use that hashtag um, with your feedback in the comments uh, once per video. That's something not everybody knows. And uh, you'll get an entry to win a booster box. Um, doing a drawing and every time you use that secret hashtag with the feedback and you're subscribed, bam, you get an entry and you get a, uh, dare I say clever response from me or just, I'll say something nice and thank you for your feedback. Um, super awesome deck. Um, hope I get more decks like this in the future. Um, and I hope this shows you, this goes to show what you can do in this format when your archetype is wide open. Thank you all for watching. I hope you do all the free things to support me at least. Um, if you're on YouTube or you're on Twitch, the link is in the description to the other channel. Um, and the free things you can do on Twitch are follow. You can ring the bell for notifications when I go live. And you can... Um, you can subscribe once per month with Prime Gaming for free or just $5 a month if you can support it, of course. And on YouTube, you can like, comment, subscribe, watch until the end, use that secret hashtag, and give me feedback. Love, I need more subscribers and I need people, need more watch time. Uh, eventually, we'll get there and YouTube will have to pay me. Right now, they have given me zero dollars and zero cents. That's that's just how YouTube works. They give you nothing until you're partnered. Um, so I appreciate all of you to do the free things and all of you who renewed your sub or are thinking about renewing your gift sub because my homie just supporting ho just for supporting homies is the biggest homie and he's given me so many gift subs. So if you've ever watched this channel, if you ever watched my Twitch channel. 
you're probably subscribed right now. Um, and I'd appreciate if you would resub either with Twitch Prime or, you know, five bucks. Whatever you can afford. Uh, I don't ask much. Just the free stuff. Take care, everyone. I love you all. And we're going to claim prizes because that was a piece of feedback that we received. And then we're all done. Boom. We've got some play-in points. 2,500 gems and six packs. Beautiful. So we're plus 100 gems, plus play points, plus packs. Plus whatever we drafted. Awesome. That's going to be it for me tonight. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. You're awesome.